Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Erwin Ramiro, Nonconformist Watch Lover. In today's video, I want to talk about a little bit hand winding and automatic watch. My understanding is if you are a beginner or new to this hobby, you might be a little bit confused about the automatic and the hand winding mechanism. So basically both is the same. How they differ is slightly different working system. So everything is the same. However, there is a, just a little bit differences. So I will give us some detail to clear out in your mind if you are planning to buy or looking for some different kind of options. First of all, when they invented or how they become a publicly available, first um, hand winding mechanical watch is early 18th century and there's a 100 years differences uh, after 100 year become a publicly available the automatic watch. The, the first of all, most of automatic watches are both things too as well. Like they have a hand winding and automatic together. Uh, some of the old version, let's say like early 1980s might be slightly different, especially the affordable watch category. However, become a popular, most of the uh, new automatic watch has a hand winding options too as well. I have a one Guanqing. Guanqing is a Chinese watch. I want to explain in with this watch. The reason is very transparent and very easy to see through. So this is an automatic and the hand winding watch too as well. By the way, power reserve too as well. So in this case, that will give you to much better idea to understand how the system works. So automatic watch has this part, this little extra part, it's called the rotor. So the motion of this rotor will be keep the power. So it will be give uh, the energy to the movement. So that's how is the automatic watch works. So basically this watch is on your wrist. When your, uh, the wrist is, uh, is in the motion, this will be, give the energy, keep the energy in the watch and it will be using slowly to, to work the, your watch instead of battery. Just a hand wind watch, there is no rotor. So when is, there is no rotor, there is no extra weight and extra thickness on it because the rotor is really keeping lots of space in the watch mechanism. And the weight wise, I think the uh, this give add up extra uh, the most uh, weight part as an individually will be the rotor too as well because the rotor mechanism is all about the how way through this weight motion it will be keep the energy at the mainspring the rotor is the huge differences between these two subcategory of the watches so hand winding mechanism it has doesn't have the rotor so you need to hand wind the crown basically if you are using regularly you're gonna do it daily to keep the watch set the time and if you have a day date complication so you will be frequently doing it to not um, lose the the time so usually they are 24 hours to 35 hours hand winding mechanism might be slightly different up or a little bit low, depends on the how the mechanism and system works in your watch and what kind of movement they are using. An automatic watch are, that's what I said before, they have a hand winding too. However, you cannot be rely on always the hand winding mechanism. So you need to give a motion, basically the motion you to your watch to save the energy. So how you do it, you need to use regularly or otherwise you need to shake it and plus you need to hand wind it too as well if it's a hand winding options. If there's no, so you need to use regularly or either you need to shake it 
to not to lose your site time settings. Thank you for today. Please let me know in the comment section what you prefer, what kind of what you watch and why. What you think about the, uh, please let me know in the comment section. I want to hear from you. Uh, thank you for today. Thank you for your precious time. See you next video. Bye bye.